What's up, Nerdgenic Nation? Superhero nerd Aaron Waller back again, and today I wanted to talk about the highly anticipated Spider-Verse sequel that just had its first official trailer recently drop and the wild ride that we might be in for. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse will see the return of Miles Morales in his next chapter as the new Web Slinger as he goes into yet another epic adventure across the multiverse to reunite with some old friends, make some new ones, and fight a villain that might have their very own spider connections. Now, to say that this is likely one of the most anticipated sequels is an understatement. Into the Spider-Verse was not only one of the best, if not the best Spider-Man movies, not only one of the best, if not the best superhero movies, and maybe even one of the best animated movies of all time. And now the sequel Across the Spider-Verse will be doubling down on all of that, expanding the world and the multiverse, and I could not be more excited. It also helps that I'm a creature of variety, so Into the Spider-Verse was right up my alley in having a wide variety of spider characters. And from what I saw in the trailer for Across the Spider-Verse, there will be even more spider characters from all walks of comics and animation, movies, video games, and so much more. Though most of the variants will likely be background and not nearly as involved as the 5 to 6 variants from the first film, how they will be incorporated and even why they seem to be after Miles in particular will be exciting. And speaking of which, my best guess is that it has something to do with Spider-Man 2099 and him potentially trying to get his family back based on some kind of recording he's watching in the trailer. I kind of hope that this isn't the storyline because it's so similar to Kingpin's story from the first film, but he could be inspired by Kingpin's actions and see that it may be possible to get his family back and needs Miles to do it to some degree. And there's also Spider-Woman's involvement in this story as it seems that she's fighting with a variant of Vulture at one point and also even sides with Spider-Man 2099, so that will be interesting to see how or even why that alliance is formed. But regardless, if they do end up sticking with that, it just feels a bit too cliche. And again, I just hope they don't go with it. But we'll have to wait until we're closer to release and get more trailers, or even upon release, to get the full story. Now, I will admit, as excited as I am for this sequel, there was one glaring problem that I had with this trailer that left me quite disappointed. And that's that they used a lot of footage from the first movie, which just feels like a bit of a cop-out. And though I can't quite be overly mad at this as the first film is a masterpiece, it feels like they either aren't quite ready for release as they like to be and just needed to drop a trailer, or maybe they just don't want to show too much. But considering that this is the official trailer and not a teaser as we've already gotten, I feel like there should have been way more to share without relying on past scenes. And it's largely because of the reuse of those scenes that I feel like I don't have as much to say about the trailer as I would like. But I think that's all I have for now for this first official Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse trailer, and now I want to hear from you in the Nerdgenic community. What did you think about this new trailer for Across the Spider-Verse? What do you think Spider-Man 2099's motivation is? What Spider-Man variant do you hope to see the most? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos from me or the rest of the Nerdgenic team. And also be sure to give us a follow across all social media platforms at Nerdgenic. That way you don't miss out on any special news, announcements, or articles at Nerdgenic.com. But in the meantime, if you want even more video content from us, check out one of my latest videos right over here. Or for a change of pace, check out one of Russ's video game videos right over here. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. And we hope to see you in the next video.